folks, my name is uh, Tim and I'm uh, going to embark on a, another DIY project. Uh, this time it's uh, just to build a shipping crate for those speakers, that speaker, which is a Pioneer HPM 60 and it's twin over there, twin brother, and I'm uh, going to make this uh, crate strong enough to be able to ship across the continent to the east coast of the USA and this is my little um, DIY video on how I build that crate. So I'll probably uh, go and buy a big sheet, 4x8 sheet of uh, particle, particle board, um, some strapping and then I'll use uh, some, a little bit of wood glue and, uh, and probably just using a brad nailer to uh, tap it all together. So, a quick and dirty on how I did that, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. So, first order of business is I'll take the, uh, the two speakers down, that you see the top speakers there, and uh, put them together uh, in the shipping configuration, get some measurements on uh, dimensions, and I'm going to make one crate for both speakers instead of a crate for each, uh, just to ship them together. It'll be cheaper, I think, in shipping to... Uh, ship as one rather than as uh, two units and we'll uh, get some measurements and add add space for the uh, the thickness of the uh, of the actual uh, crate walls and then uh, tap it all together and uh, then I can get an overall dimension that I can take to the post office I'll get a, a weight as well and uh, we'll be off to the races so here it is here is the start of the, uh, the construction. Right there, I've taken the uh, the speakers down off their perches, and uh, I've decided that I'm going to go grill to grill configuration just to uh, protect the drivers during transit. It's the most delicate part of the speaker, as well as the grills, and uh, I get a rough end measurement of. Uh, so there we go. It's uh, 25 and a half inches in uh, width I guess, in depth it's uh, 14 inches and in height it is, let me get a measurement there, just a little over two feet, two feet and one quarter inch. So from there I'll throw, a, I'll draw a rough uh, diagram on a piece of paper and make an allowance. I think I'm going to make an allowance of uh, probably one and a half inches around each. Um, what I'll end up doing is I've got uh, black garbage bags and I'll put each speaker in it just so we don't get any rubbing. And then of course I'll be using some bubble wrap and stuff so I got to allow some space um, for packing material around the edges. And the, uh, the base piece will be the uh, the big support one, and then it'll hold up the walls, and and uh, we'll tack it all together. We'll see how the how we can uh, how we can build that. Then I might even try some handles. These things are really really heavy, though. That's the only thing. So I'm not even sure if the post office will be able to handle it. So I'll sort of get a rough measurement, rough weight and then uh, go to the post office, see if they'll handle it before I go through all this trouble of uh, building it. So there you go. There's the start. There's a speaker wire. I'll throw those in as well, so I need to allow a little bit of space for that. All right, I've got, uh, well, I think, all the tools that I'm going to need basically here. So what I've done is I've brought the speakers up, put them on a carpet here so I don't ding the bottoms of them. Got some of this speaker wire that I'll be throwing in. And uh, so I've got the dimensions and everything. I got the wood cut, so I went and got this hardboard, which is quite cheap. I got it at Home Depot for a big 4x8 sheet, and then I got it cut down into 30-inch uh, strips, which should be adequate for the uh, size. I just measured everything out and did a little paper napkin drawing just to make sure all the sizing and everything would fit. And then I got this um, half-inch uh, thick particle board here, which I'll... Uh, use I'll show you the tools here a bit later what I'll do is I'll cut it down into strips and that'll actually be my uh, support backing when I make the panels uh, for each side of the box that this thing will be going into so uh, this was just a I think it was a four foot uh, 
um, half inch MDF basically. So I'll cut that into strips and then cut those down to side size to uh, uh, provide the support ribbing for the uh, for the uh, shipping crate. So here are the tools I've got um, that I'll be using. So obviously I got a compressor, brad nailer, just because I'm too lazy to use a hammer and nails, and uh, tons and tons of different size brad nails, and of course wood glue just to uh, make sure everything sticks together, and then I've got a chop saw and a uh, and a table saw just to cut it down to exact dimensions. So that's, that's rough cut there, so uh, we'll be cutting it down so that we have uh, the six sides of the box, and I might even hinge it on the top just to uh, make it easier to uh, open for customs and uh, and also for when it gets to the other person on the other end. So we'll uh, get to it, and we'll cut down the pieces and uh, do up the first side, which is going to be the bottom, and I'll get everything rested on it. I'll put the uh, the speakers in bags right away just to keep the uh, the sun and the weather and everything off them. It's a beautiful day out here in Victoria and uh, we'll get to the business part of building a box. Stage where, where I've um, bagged up the boxes I'll, or the, uh, the speakers in the configuration they'll be going. I'll also uh, put some soft stuff on, on the top and I've cut a bottom piece and a top piece 28 and a half inches by, um, I believe it was 17 and a half, but uh, don't quote me. Um, and then I've cut all of the strapping basically to form the rigid uh, uh, portions of the uh, each side. So um, we'll get to that and we'll make up the uh, the bottom and then the top and then start working on the sides. Here's the uh, first step. We just uh, cut them down to size, each of the strapping uh, boards, the MDF boards down to size to the width of the uh, the panels and then I've glued the back and uh, with uh, my weld bond which is over there and uh, this one dried up so it's no good, garbage. Anyway, um, so we'll put that on top and then we'll tack, tack down the uh, Tack these down, it's a little bit windy here, so tack that down and uh, get the first uh, boards on. Got the first ones down. I'm just using little itty bitty brad nails so they don't go all the way through. And we'll do the likewise to the other side here. And then we do the cross members, and here we've uh, measured it up, and we'll cut to there. And we'll do likewise for this length and then box it in. The, uh, the lid over here. I accidentally tacked it on as a side, but uh, got her in time. And uh, I've got one more panel to do, and then I can get the lid on and uh, get the speakers, which are tucked over here, back into the box and uh, ready for shipping. You can see on the outside, I've got the framing on the outside just to keep it as uh, smooth as possible on the inside. The only uh, exception are these uh, cross brackets that I have in there just to give it to more support on the bottom. And I measured it up and uh, the speakers will fit just inside that, which is good. And uh, once we get our buttoned up, we'll throw in a bunch of uh, packing. There is a little extra space for some uh, packing and uh, we'll get that in place. So there we have it. You can see these speakers are tucked nicely into the uh, into the three-sided box for now. With the bottom on, and then we've got this uh, fourth side that I'll tack on in place, and making sure that I don't get the nails going through to the uh, the cabinets. But once it is complete, it will be nice and sturdy and solid. I have a little bit of space to uh, tuck some some uh, packing in there just to to uh, give it a little bit of cushioning uh, for shipment and you can see it actually fits uh, fits quite well. The uh, top is over here toying with the idea of actually just throwing hinges on it and uh, instead of gluing it all and uh, brad nailing it like I've done all of these walls here I plan on uh, probably hinging it and then uh, 
screw it down so that way customs can get into it if they uh, if they need to because it is going cross border. So uh, it will be nicely packed, and uh, I also have some speaker wire to throw in as well. So there we have it. Um, We'll see what uh, what it looks like at uh, when it's complete. And there it is, all complete. Um, the only thing I haven't done is uh, cinched it down, only because oh, I left a screw up on the top here. Get that off there. The only thing I didn't do is so I've got it on hinges. You can see on the uh, back side here, right there. And then what I'll do, um, I haven't put the packing in yet um, and the speaker wires yet uh, once I do that then I will close it up and I will screw it down and then put tape over it and then just say for customs only I guess I'm not sure how I'm going to do that anyway um, but for all intents and purposes the box is now complete um, on the corner here it's basically 16 and 3 quarter inches deep by 28 and a half inches wide and 27 inches tall and I just got to get a weight it's pretty heavy so uh, figure that out and then I'll take take those numbers into the uh, into the post office and get a quote so there you go thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video just did a last minute uh, modification and I just added a couple of corners um, so uh, I guess customs will have to bash those out if they need to uh, get into them but just to uh, make the box a little bit sturdier and then of course closing the lid I'll have something to screw into um, basically for um, a little sturdier um, seal on the top so there you have it hinges once again I actually popped the other ones out uh, I leaned on it and you can see the hinge the holes in the front but oh well I just flipped it around and used the other side so all is good